Hello everyone, this is Jesse from the Encampment Channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today, I just wanted to share my thoughts on the Warbonnet Ridge Runner, as well as some of the modifications that I've made to it. If you are not familiar with the hammock, it is a bridge style hammock that offers an incredibly flat lay, which is great if you're a side sleeper like myself. They have a few variations of the hammock on their website. There is a single and a double layer option, as well as an option for a bug net on both. They are constructed with a Dreamtex fabric, which, according to them, is supposed to feel more comfortable to the touch. Personally, this isn't a big deal to me, since I almost always wear some type of base layer when I sleep. However, I will say that it is very comfortable to the touch, and I've had zero issues with durability, so I believe it's a decent fabric. I have the double layer with bug net version in an olive green color. I also decided to go with the whoopee suspensions with the dino weave straps and hooks. Total weight for my setup is 24.62 ounces or 698 grams. That includes a stuff sack and all the suspension but does not include the spreader bars and I'll show more on that later in the video. I'm not going to get into too much detail about the weight of the different options since there are so many variables to consider. I chose the double layer version because it has a weight rating of up to 250 pounds, whereas the single layer version only supports up to 200 pounds. I'm 6 foot 3 and right at the limit of the 250 pounds for the double layer, but I've had no comfortability issues with it at all. Aside from the increased weight capacity, Another reason you might consider the double layer is so you can insert a sleeping pad in between the layers and use that as your insulation in lieu of an underquilt. As far as the insulation goes, I chose to go with the Warbonnet Lynx 40 degree underquilt. It was specifically designed to fit this hammock and it fits it like a glove. Installation is quick and easy with four clips being attached to the loops where the suspension meets the hammock. On a side note, I recently had the opportunity to test the temperature rating on the underquilt. The temperature was forecast to be right around 40 degrees that night, but it ended up dropping down to 31 where I was at. And this quilt honestly surprised me. I was still fairly comfortable at that temperature. However, I could tell I really wouldn't want to take it any lower than that. But back to the hammock, the setup of this hammock is fairly straightforward. The recommended hang angle is around 25 degrees and the hammock should be just high enough off the ground that you can sit in it without having to squat down. The only real quirk that I've found with this hammock in particular is that the foot end needs to be 6 inches or so higher on the higher than the head end or you'll end up sliding down to the foot end while you sleep. I use a, a simple marlin spike hitch and some old titanium shepherd hook stakes as my toggles. This makes setup and breakdown extremely convenient. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to set this hammock up in this video because I've made some modifications that make hanging it a little different and I don't want to cause any confusion. While we're on the topic of modifications, here are a couple things I've changed on my Ridge Runner to make it better suit my needs. The first thing I added or these Nama Gear pole guards. These have two functions. One is they protect your tarp from puncture if the hammock swings up and impacts the tarp. The other function, and what really sold me on them, is that they can be used to adapt a trekking pole for use as a spreader bar. Since I already carry trekking poles with me, and being able to ditch the included spreader bars, which weigh about 12 ounces or 340 grams this was really a no-brainer for me. However, this only works with certain pole styles. It needs to be a monopod style pole with a quarter inch thread stud on top of the pole. I would also highly recommend that you use a clamp style pole instead of a twist lock. The pole I use for this setup is the Cascade Mountain Carbon Fiber Quick Lock Monopod. This pole has worked wonderfully for me as both a trekking pole and a spreader bar. I've had zero issues with the durability and strength of these poles, 
But if I find out down the road that there is an issue with them, I will post an update in the comment section. On to the second modification. I added a structural ridge line. Yes, I am well aware that this is unnecessary for the ridge runner, but it's a personal preference. I made it out of 764th AM steel. On one end, I spliced in a locked Brummel and then large headed that to the suspension. And on the other end, I used a soft shackle and a constrictor knot to affix it. This way, in the future, if I ever decide I no longer want it, I can easily remove it. I have also been experimenting with a way to have the tarp integrated into the hammock suspension so I can have it all set up at once. This is still really just an experiment and I will most likely, if not definitely, change a lot of these things in the future. But for now, I just have some Prusik loops tied to the suspension with some adjusters in line to really fine tune the tension on the tarp. The tarp itself is just one of the cheaper 12 foot tarps I could find on Amazon that had storm doors. And I'm really just using it to kind of decide how I want to set it up. I don't want to spend 150, 200 bucks on a tarp that I wasn't sure how I wanted it to be set up and how it was going to fit. I just used some shock cord on the tie outs uh, a little more than what would usually be used because it is still nylon so it stretches but the fact that it's tied to the suspension it will lower slightly when you lay in the hammock it's not uh, it's not an, a, a lot but it is noticeable so I added the, the extra length of the shot cord and that pretty much takes all that slack out That's about it for the, the modifications that I've done so far. Uh, there might be more in the future. <clears throat> but honestly, after camping for years and gathered in hammocks, I'm really glad I finally decided to spring for the Ridge Runner. And it is by no means a cheap investment, but for me, it was well worth its cost. And since I purchased this hammock, I've honestly been getting the best sleep of my life in the backcountry. And I can highly recommend this Ridge Runner, especially if you're a side sleeper. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing some more reviews in the future, so please subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a lot. Have a good day, everyone.